in the car ride, he was so out of his mind. He didn't believe his friend was actually driving north on the highway. And and he, no matter what his friend said, he couldn't convince him he was driving back to where they came from. And he, he, he said he had to check his... Um, the compass on his phone or something to, to verify what direction on the highway they were drive, actually driving. And then he thought his friend was claiming to be God and he wasn't saying that at all. And he made a gesture with his rifle that scared his friend while he was driving. Um, I think he like did some, some body movement that frightened him. So he dropped Sam on the side of the of the road, uh, and called nine one one, and he said to I've listened to the nine one one recording, and he said, "I just went on a hike with my friend. We smoked a joint. He's hallucinating. He needs help, and he has a weapon." So they showed up, and I've watched all the body cam footage they would allow me to watch. And the hardest part of those 12 minutes was not even him getting shot and killed, but it was the very first moment where he's sitting on the side of the road and the gun is in its case on the ground next to him and he's just minding his own business. But they showed up with guns pointing at him and they were screaming and yelling and nobody bothered to say, hey, hey, buddy, I hear you're having a bad day. How about you hand over the rifle and we'll have a conversation? They just showed up like screaming and a high alert. Set it down. Set it down. <laughs> Set it down. 621 Adam, one at gunpoint. Put it down. Put it down. <laughs> And because it was a Saturday, they didn't have a CRT person on hand, which is a community response team member, to de-escalate a situation like that, to just have a conversation. And so they were on their own. It was just bad timing. Put it on the ground! Put it on the ground! Put the gun on the ground! He did not pull it out of, out of its case until the very end. And he, uh, in his mind, he didn't know that his friend called 911. So in his mind, he's thinking, these are my worst, my worst nightmares coming true. I see, like he probably felt vindicated. Like, see, I knew they were after me all the time. Here they are. <laughs> this is it. This is what I've been preparing for. 